Hey everyone, Necromancer1040 here. So, Konami dropped a huge announcement in terms of what cards are going to be coming out in the near future. Well, kind of distant future. But in other words, if you haven't heard already, there's this card called Three Tactical Talents. And it's pretty much broken upon arrival in three different ways. So, let's get into it. And without any further ado, let's get into why I feel this card is not going to be a fun thing to play against. So, if you don't know what Three Tactical Talents is, is it's basically a normal spell card, thankfully, and it basically combines three of the most broken, currently banned cards right now, which is Pot of Greed, Change of Heart, and then Forceful Sentry. So, what this card allows you to do is you draw two cards, and you can take control of one of your opponent's monsters until the end phase. Also, you can look at your opponent's hand and then shuffle one card in the opponent's hand back into their deck. So, you have an option to choose between uh, one of these three upon its activation. But the only condition this card needs to be activated is for your opponent to activate a monster effect during your turn. That's insane. That's not really a cost in general. That's that's a very faint condition that it needs to meet. So essentially it allows you to take advantage away from your opponent by using the Forceful Sentry effect. And it gives you draw power because it's Pot of Greed. And the only downside is that you have to wait for your opponent to activate a monster effect during your main phase. And it's only a heart of once per turn. That's, that's, that's beyond insane. Konami, what are you doing? I don't know what was going through their minds, but how does this card exist? <laughs> so we'll get into more details on why it's, it's more of a problem. So the problem, obviously, you could just say in just total brutal honesty, it's broken. So mostly monster it's it's not hard to activate this card because monster effects mainly happen during your main phase so it is a very easy trigger and one of the most frequent ways that you negate someone during a turn is by using a thing called hand traps you mainly interrupt your opponent with hand traps and that's, I mean, there. just think of all the different types of hand traps. Ash Blossom, Joint Spring, uh, Droll and Lockbird, Nibiru. All those cards can be, can trigger three tactical talents. So this basically provides a follow-up to hand traps, which I guess you could say is kind of a good thing. But when, after going through what this card does, it gives you more, it gives the person, whoever activated three tactical talents more advantage than what they initially would have gotten had they been negated by the actual hand trap so instead of taking the the minus from being negated by the hand trap this person's now essentially not only putting a band-aid on theirself but they're also getting a bonus off of it several bonuses off of it by plussing off of that negation by the hand trap so that's unbelievably toxic and we'll talk about it uh, a little further on. But basically, one of the things I wanted to point out is it kind of replaces Call by the Grave. Not entirely, but it does. It's more of a viable option instead of Called by the Grave. Because Called by the Grave was pretty much a dedicated hand trap negation. Because basically, you had to wait for the card for the monster to get into the grave, and then you activate Called by the Grave, banish that monster, and then uh, that monster's effect is negated. Then they can't use that monster's effect for the rest of the turn. So, um, but three tactical talents, you just need to wait for a single monster effect activation, and this can be, and then three tactical talents is basically in use. You can use it, and you gain so many advantages, and you gain so many different options that you can use to apply to the given situation. So it allows you it allows you to gain advantage while called by the grave doesn't do that. And basically, you can activate this card if your opponent negated you. So whether if your opponent negated you by hand trap or if your opponent negated you by using, I don't know, F.A. Don Dragster or 
Borrowed Savage Dragon. This is basically a follow up to that, which it basically doesn't do the fundamental thing. It basically, basically, the fundamental thing that you're trying to do in Yu-Gi-Oh is have interaction in the game. You're basically saying, "Oh well, you try to stop my play, so now I'm going to basically advance my my plays further." Even though you're trying to interact with me and stop my stop my plays, so that's I don't know. That's kind of defeats the whole purpose of modern day Yu-Gi-Oh, in my opinion. But in other words, this card is great for going first because you can shuffle. You can use a shuffling effect and basically put the monster from your opponent's hand back into the deck, which basically decreases the amount of cards they have in their hand and at the same time you can also choose to boost your own hand by allowing you to draw two cards um but you can still keep in mind you can still use these two cards or these two card effects while going second and you're more likely to be able to activate the third effect when you go second why I say that is because when you go second, your opponent's probably established a pretty robust board of monsters. So if anything, you want this card to activate when you're going second because your your opponent basically has a whole board full of monsters that you can choose from and you can change you can change of heart them. You can take one monster from their field and put it onto your side of the field. So this is one of the most broken why I feel it's broken more so is it's good going first but it's even better going second so that's that's part of the reason why i feel it's overpowered and we'll get into more details if that wasn't detailed enough so why it's so toxic is it basically has a non-targeting control effect if you read the fine print of the card it does not say target so it already circumvents a lot of protection effects afforded to the person by their monster so like something like chaos max dragon can't be can actually be taken controlled by this card effect because chaos max protects itself from being targeted but it's not being targeted in this instance it's just taking control of a monster also, you can activate three tactical talents any time throughout that same turn. So it's not that you have to you have to only activate this card upon resolution. Your opponent could have activated a monster effect previously in the main phase and you can activate three tactical talents in your main phase too um if you wanted to um because this card says you have to you have to wait for your opponent to activate a card effect so this card effect can really be activated anytime throughout your turn um for the most part except for the end phase um but pretty much you have almost your entire turn to activate this card and really evaluate where this card can give you the most optimal outcome and boost your strategy so that's part of the really broken aspect of this card as well um also it makes your opponent think twice before activating monster effects or in other words activating hand traps so this effectively lessens your opponent's want to use a hand trap or any or basically a negation effect like if your opponent has borrowed savage dragon they're probably going to think twice oh wait should i activate borrowed savage dragon's effect is it even worth uh, giving my opponent essentially a plus two and or basically ripping a card out of my hand or basically taking my monster <laughs> Because think about it if your opponent tries to negate something with like borrowed Sa borrowed savage dragon um, Then you activate three tactical talents Well now you can take borrowed savage dragon and use the negates for yourself essentially so, and you can also use that with another prolific negate monster like Apollosa. That's another huge hit to your opponent, especially if they've given her a bunch of negates and she has a sizable attack point uh, kind of uh, number. So that's another way that this card is, is unbelievably broken. Also, on top of everything, this card discourages interruptions in general, and it allows your opponent to proceed with their strategy in general. So basically this favors combo decks and it promotes a one-sided game. So basically if you're about to get hand trapped, you probably are saying if you have three tactical talents, 
you're probably saying, well, no biggie. I'm just going to give myself more advantage, and my opponent is essentially not going to basically hinder my strategy because I can draw too, or I can take something from their field. Or you can basically take one card out of their hand, and <laughs> I know you get the point already. It's, 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 it's insane. And so basically, if you guys are wondering... Well, why is the the last effect so so devastating? And I, and I mean the shuffling back into from your opponent's hand into the to the deck effect. Why is it so devastating? It's not so much sending one card to your opponent's deck. It's the amount of knowledge that this gives that this gives you about your opponent's hand. So what I mean is the cards text says, "Look at your opponent's hand." So this card is allowing you to. Basically, you get to get a glimpse into your opponent's hand and see what else they're, they're, they have in their hand currently. So you can basically manipulate your strategy around what they're potentially going to do. Or if there's something that you just can't deal with at the moment, you just say, hey, just return that to, to, the, opponent's, uh, to the opponent's deck and there you go. You don't have to deal with it. It's back in the opponent's deck. And also, if your opponent has... A hand trap that you just don't want to be used against you that can be used against you in your in your future strategy you can just say well i'm going to return that one to the deck so i don't have to deal with it so you can essentially shuffle back another hand trap that can't activate necessarily at that moment and you can prevent it from becoming a problem before it actually is a problem so <laughs> that's another broken aspect already and also this basically the ability to draw to, I mean, you've probably heard that draw to pot of greed is probably one of the most broken effects. And the reason why it is, is because, especially because Yu Gi Oh decks are very thin, you try to use a very strict 40 card deck, especially when you've already searched through your, your deck and you activate something like three tactical talents and you activate the draw to effect, you're more likely to draw into your extenders and the cards that you just want to see in general. So it's deck thinning, but it's this extra layer of deck thinning it's because you can also draw the cards that you want to extend with, which basically kick off a whole series of other extenders and other search effects. So this is mainly the problem I see with this, ca this card existing. On top of that, there's no hard cost. It's not this card doesn't require like a very hard cost like where you discard something from your hand or you have to banish uh, uh, a card on your side of the field or you have to skip your battle phase it doesn't do any of that and on top of it it's very versatile and it works in every deck it's not like it's basically tapered to one deck or it's or it's basically a card that exists only in a specific archetype this is a very generic deck that has basically use in any deck at all so on top of it's it's no cost and it's very generic use this that's a very disastrous combo for whoever's facing this card um on top of that your opponent will start with three cards if they go second upon their first draw phase because think about it let's say you go first and then you activate something which your opponent tries to hand trap it in response well then now you say i'm going to use three tactical talents and i'm going to respond to that essentially and you're going to use the forceful sentry effect which basically you look at your opponent's hand send something back to the deck and then now your opponent just has three cards in their hand so the card they lost when they were discarding the hand trap and the card they lost when they when you shuffle that card back into the deck so now your opponent is going to have four cards after their first draw phase and they're at an incredible disadvantage especially that um three tactical talents allows you to gain more advantage than your opponent and so this is honestly the biggest way you can win is by simply outpacing your opponent by gaining more resources than them that's probably the single number one way that you can clinch the duel in your favor and so that's another problem that I see with this card's uh, design. On top of that, this kind of relates with what I just said. It basically allows you to close games out more quickly because you have 
you're basically drawing more into your resources. You have more options that you can potentially close the game out with. And basically, this one card, three tactical talents, it allows you to basically take control over the game just off of one activation effect. So that's what I think is another broken aspect and poorly card poor card design in, on the, for this card in general. Um, it's it's it basically gives you way more way more uh, control over the duel just off of this one activation. So um, I mean, if I guess there's any uh, consoling you guys over this card, it's that it primarily is a quick. It's not a quick effect. Thankfully, it's not a quick effect. That imagine all the the type of combos you can make if it was a quick effect. That that's nightmare inducing just to think about it. That's insane. But uh, I don't know. Think of this in tandem with Dragoon of Red Eyes. I thought that was a meta warping card before, but man, this just puts Dragoon of Red Eyes to shame. There's this is broken way more than Dragon of Red Eyes tenfold. So, uh, I mean, let me know what, what you all think about this card in general. Is it is it way too broken or is it something that the game needs? I personally think this, this card is way too detrimental for the game. I don't know what Konami's going to do in the next few ban lists, um, but a lot has to change before this card hits along with Dragoon of Red Eyes. And just having those two cards in the in the meta, that's kind of terrifying to think about. But that pretty much does it for this video. Um, yeah, if you guys would uh, like to support content like this, you can do so at my Patreon. Uh, you can check in the, the description and below. All the information is there. And if you would like to see more ways how you can deal with three tactical talents I actually have a video where it basically tells you the best cards I think that can help you face the meta and you can check that in my channel and I'll put in the in the for with a link in the description below so with that thank you so much for watching and thank you for watching my content I really appreciate all your support whether it's just watching my videos or you just liking my videos and thinking they're cool in general honestly I appreciate it um, Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, take care.